Visqua. Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be doing a full face of first impression. impressions. Well, it's not really a full face, but it's kind of full face. We have eyeshadow, bronzer, and my dogs that are in for my different link. Come here, come here, watch it. Come here, watch it. You're going to sit on my lap for now because this is the second time I'm filming the intro, so he's getting a little anxious, but he loves being outside with me. But the reason you guys are probably like, why the heck are you out here? But I'm like, to be honest, I feel like during this quarantine time, we've just been sitting in our rooms all day, which I'm guilty of. But I feel like everybody should be going outside at least once a day. So I'm out here filming a makeup tutorial to kind of freshen up the mood and lighten up your day. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is my dog, Monty, by the way. If you guys haven't seen him on Easter vlog, he's never in my videos because he's not allowed to go upstairs. But he's really cute and he's really nice and really friendly. He doesn't bite. <laughs> But yeah, so before I start this video, click the subscribe button, give this video a huge thumbs up, click the notification bell if you want to be part of the hashtag Beast Squad, and comment down hashtag Beast Squad because I'm going to be doing some shout outs today. And if you comment down hashtag Beast Squad, I'll be following you, I'm um, subscribing to your channel. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and let's get on with the video. Okay, you guys, I have you guys like really zoomed in, and I feel like I need to freshen up. So I have this Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 setting spray. I haven't really used this, so it's kind of like helpful. So I have a mirror down here, so sorry if I looked up here. Oh my god, I used a lot, but you know, I haven't used this stuff. Like, this is probably the third time I've ever used it. <laughs> Sorry, my dog's like washing himself, but yeah. So, before I do makeup, I always wash my hands, but since I'm outside, well, this looks so cute. Since I'm outside and there's no sinks, I've been using a hand sanitizer. This is the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer and a cucumber melon. Smells amazing. Not sponsored, but. Always wash your hands, stay safe. I really want you guys to stay safe. Okay, so basically, so basically I'm gonna start with Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So I actually opened this because in the Easter vlog, if you guys see, insert a clip here. That was like, I don't know, sun kiss. So basically, yeah, this one, I paid for everything with my own money here. As you saw, I opened it and it smelled amazing. Just to like show you guys the products I got that day on Easter. But I got a lot of first impressions. Sorry, somebody came. It's my brother. Um, but this is it. It smells amazing. Like, Eric, you want to smell this? Come. Sorry, you guys want to see my brother? You guys probably never seen my brother. This is him. So, so yeah. Good. So, yeah, he's also outside because we want to be spending our quarantine in nice nature. And he's climbing a tree behind me. So, yeah. So, Hopefully you guys don't mind him. Okay, so I have um, my bronzer blush and I have my butter bronzer. I feel like so unorganized because I never do it outside. So I'm gonna tap this in. I really hope. Okay. First impressions. Okay, I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but I am. Oh my god, this looks it's very pigmented. And it's a little like, has a little shimmer to it. Oh my god, my brother is so high. You guys probably can't see him. He's like up there. Yeah, that's him. He's all the way up in the tree, but we're here. Um, but, oh my god, this is very cool toned, which I like cool toned brows. But, um, not really my favorite. I thought it was going to be more warm toned. But, that's nice to hear that I have a cool toned brother. The reason why I picked this up is because it has a little shimmer to it. It's in Sunkiss Glow, Sun Sunkiss Bronzer, so it's like a little more glowy, and it's really cute. It's making me look like I have like just been to Hawaii and had a nice summer tan, on like I have one. But um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna rate this product. I'll blend out this, but I'm gonna rate this product so far how it's doing. I'm gonna rate it a 9.5 out of 10, just because at first it wasn't really showing up, but once you put some on, amazing, or just love it. I was basically in the next clip. Sorry, I look awful, but okay. In the next clip, you guys are going to see is my brother climbing up the tree with my phone, and I, I'm going to be like, hey, B-Squad. But yeah, so be prepared for that. My brother asked if he could do that, so he did. So yeah, be prepared hey, for that. B-Squad, welcome back to my channel. So you guys can see we're in the middle of this video, but my brother climbed this like, super high tree, so you guys are like, skyline view so how is it up up there um that's like crazy so hope you guys are enjoying that little skyline Don't. montage so yeah Okay guys so how is that skyline view? I think it was really cool but okay so now I 
have a highlighter to try out. I actually got this highlighter a long time ago, but I never tested it out. It's by ColourPop. It's their Disney Princess collection, the Giselle bundle. I actually love Giselle. I actually just took this Giselle in first grade. Nobody really knew who she was because I was in her wedding dress outfit, but I love Giselle. Look how cute this photo is. I mean, it kind of looks like her, kind of don't. She has like strawberry blonde hair, but like, look how cute this packaging is. Like, low-key looks adorable. Okay, so it comes with an Andalasia pressed powder highlighter and a Prince Edward Luxe Lip. But I don't have that Luxe Lip because my sister got that part of it. But look how cute it is. It's, I love, like, Andalusia. She's like, I love Andalusia. It's so cute. So now I have my little highlighter, and I need to, I just sprayed my face before this, by the way. So I have it. It's like a really, it's like a rose gold shade, which I actually really like. I like a more, like, gold glitter, and it has a mirror. I kind of should take off this. Oh, wow. That mirror really helps. Okay. Oh, Look at that highlight. You guys can see that, right? Oh my god. Okay, I'm now I'm going to rate this highlighter because I feel like people who do like these videos rate their products, how they liked it. So, why not rate it? So, I'm going to rate this highlighter, I would say, a 10 or 9.5 out of 10. I, the reason why is because I haven't used enough time to see how it lasts. But 9.5 out of 10, love this product. Okay. I didn't like it. Okay, guys. I'm really zoomed up like this. Like, my kind of moves. But if I sit down, I'm not really zoomed in. I'm like than usual so I'm gonna ha try to squat really bad posture check but you know I'd much rather have you guys have a great video than me having bad posture okay so if you guys haven't watched my Easter Easter vlog you guys really should I, should, I really should put this up this is really uncomfortable you guys really should and you guys will see this palette that I got this palette I was so impressed it's the Bretman Rock X Wild Wild it's called the Jungle Rock love that and like we're like in a mini jungle, so like I really thought this palette was perfect for it. It's another where I got the inspiration. But look at this. Look at this packaging. Like, girl, okay, let's open it. Oh my god. These colors are gorgeous. You guys. Oh my god. Oh, there's like some kind of packaging on top. It's like some sticky stuff. Okay, got that off. And there's like some powders that broke. Probably my mom hiding it. But, uh, you're kidding me. So I have my Morphe M573, and I'm gonna quickly zoom you guys completely in, and we're gonna start the voiceover happening. Hey guys, we are zoomed in into my eyes, and I have my Bretman Rock X Wet and Wild palette. So first, I am taking and digging into the Coconut Craze shade just to set the lid because you know I want to have a gorgeous shade to set the lid, and I feel like this shade is really gorgeous. Then I'm taking into that pink shade. It is not the best name. It is called Flaming. It has a bad word at the end, so we're not gonna be saying that bad word because we want to be, you know safe and modest <laughs> lol but yeah so that pink shade was really cute but some pink shades are like if you put them on your eye it's like stains for forever that's like the uh james charles palette but yeah sorry guys if you hear like this that's me brushing my hair because like when i do voice first i'm really bored um and then that's me talking to my brother but i'm packing that on my lid because i'm very scared while using this shade just keep in mind and then i want to ask my brother what shades to use he said to put red in the inner corner then green in the middle and then in the outer corner pink and i'm like i think i'm gonna do the green on the uh, um on the lower lash line and he's like oh okay i like my idea better but let's just be honest that idea would have gone a little wrong but yeah that's just me blending it then i took a little bit of pounce on them and put that in the outer corner just to spice in that look up because i like to have a deeper shade in the outer corner just to kind of spice that up so pounce on them really where they are the whole carol bay is good <laughs> you know you have tiktok and then i'm taking that green shade called venomous love that shade venomous like gorgeous that green shade put on my lower lash line like low-key popped like looks like gorgeous amazing yeah okay love it this is me showing off my little hey you guys so now i'm finally talking um sorry it wasn't zoomed on me but this is how it looks so i just apply the lily lashes honest review i think 
they're amazing but i think they're a little overhyped because i really truly love these lashes i think they were gorgeous and amazing but i think they were a little too hard to apply because it took me 10 minutes to apply them oh my god sorry one of my lashes pieces fell um but i think it was, took a little too long to apply them which i think is fine but it's because they're very big so um i think they're really gorgeous and if you have the patience to put them on, that's amazing. I mean, I did, but I was just a little upset. I thought I was doing it quickly, but I think they're really gorgeous and really beautiful and worth the wait. But, oh, wait, one quick. So my dog is kind of like ruining all my makeup because it fell on the floor because of him. But I love my dog so much that I'm not gonna get mad at him. Now onto lips. I think that was such an unnecessary lip. Okay, so I really don't know. I brought this red lipstick, just in case. Let's just see, it's like a, because I really seriously thought I was going to be a natural look because I actually have two palettes to try out but I didn't try out the other one because I got too intrigued um, but my honest opinion with the Bretman Rock I think it's amazing for the price, $14 it's amazing so this is how I look alright I feel like the red lip, yes or no I'm going to probably put my thickest themes on I'm going to check both and let me see which one's better so guys this is the final look what do you guys think i ended up putting on that nars lipstick and thickest thieves on top and my jeffree star gloss and cosmic i think um look how gorgeous it is I think I would rate this look a 9.5 out of 10 because one of my eyelashes, I actually really love these eyelashes. I think it looks really gorgeous. But one of my eyelashes, um, it's not staying to the side, but that's that's the only reason why. But I personally really love this look. I haven't really done any glam, colorful looks, so that's why I really want to do it. But by the way, my next video, I think I want to do a QA. What do you guys think about that? So in the comments down below, pop some Q&A questions that you guys want me to answer. So yeah, please comment down some Q&A questions. Or if you guys go to my Instagram, it's my Instagram, and it's my TikTok. Um, if you guys go to my Instagram and answer the poll, I'll be having on my questionnaire. And yeah, guys. So before I end this video, click the subscribe button. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Click the notification bell. And like if you like it. I kind of said that. And a like. Same thing. But um, yeah. And comment down hashtag VSquad if you guys want a shout out. And yeah. Love you guys so, so much, and see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, it's now time for shout out time. So, near the end of the, each video, I'll be doing a shout out. So, as I asked in the last video, if you guys can comment hashtag V Squad, you guys will be getting a shout out. So, the first person who got a shout out is Eden Kaplan. She's actually my sister's friend. Thank you so much for being part of the V Squad. So, guys, go subscribe to your YouTube channel right now, please. I would really appreciate it. And then we have Anika Does Makeup. She comes with hashtag V Squad. Thank you so much for being part of the V Squad. Go subscribe to her YouTube channel right now. Please subscribe. And yeah, thank you guys so much for all the comments. I really appreciate it all for all the YouTube video ideas. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it.